Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Aries, this is your uh, mid-month check-in for the month of September. So um, I just want to get um, an overall picture of the energy surrounding you um, for the rest of September 2020. What has changed? Maybe things have shifted since the monthly readings course if this does not resonate please feel free to check out videos for your other placements as i said this is focusing on aries aries sun moon rising and venus what is going on with my aries for the rest of september what is going on with the people person situations you're dealing with and what will be the general outcome and advice for the rest of the month. Nine of Wands, the Tower, Ace of Wands, the Fool, the Lovers, well, King of Pentacles. Let's pull a card for general advice. Any advice? Any advice or positive affirmations, please, for my Aries viewers? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, any positive affirmations or advice? We have the Seven of Air, equivalent to the Seven of Swords. We'll get to that at the end. Aries, I get the sense that um, you're feeling a little bit of in a turmoil at the moment, a um, little bit defensive, a little bit on edge, a little bit on guard. There are some big, big changes going on, or if they haven't happened yet, you're sensing that something is about to change if it hasn't happened already. And this is not, you know, a small change. This is a major life change and could be to do with, you know, career, job, finances, could also be um, a change in a relationship. If this is someone, you know, if there's someone that you've been dealing with, you're definitely feeling that some kind of change is coming and is inevitable. I'm getting a sense that there's been a little bit of friction with someone that you're dealing with. So this is someone who is maybe bringing the drama into your life, unnecessary drama. It could be a little bit of a roller coaster dealing with whoever you're dealing with or whatever situation you're dealing with. Lots and lots of ups and downs. And just when you think you've turned a corner or you've um, found a way to get to some kind of inner peace, some kind of you know resolution in a situation, once again, you feel like you're on edge, you're having to be defensive, there's some kind of argument, um, there's some kind of disagreement, something is just not, has not quite reached its full potential, whether that be career-wise or with um, a romantic interest. But I think you can sense that the situation just can't go on like this forever. You're tired. I'm getting a real sense that you've had enough. Um, if you've been dealing with someone, I feel like it's kind of dragged on for a little bit. I'm not thinking that this is, you know, someone new that you've been dealing with. This is someone who you've known for at least weeks to months even. And it's just not quite reaching a level that you want it to. You know, you've got, you've got the end goal in mind um, and it's just not quite getting there with this person. And something's shifting. A, ma a major change is happening whether you like it or not. I feel like whatever it is, it's just dragged on for way too long. And change is inevitable. I'm feeling like stuck in some sort of a loop or a cycle. 
like whatever it is um, or you know maybe there's a particular disagreement you're having with someone or there's a particular issue at work that's not getting resolved something like that could even be with family members um, or a friend or something some kind of issue that just keeps going around going around going around you, you know you think you're getting to a point of resolution and it just doesn't happen and you end up falling into um, the same argument the same kind of cycle the same emotional up and down when that happens when you know you let that go on for too long um, something's got to give something's going to give got to give and there is a major shake up that's that's about to go down if it hasn't already. When I look at the energy surrounding you, um, we've got the Ace of Wands here and the Fool. So I love this because whatever you've been dealing with has not been working for you. It really hasn't left you feeling very fulfilled at all. Um, but the good news is we've got excitement coming back. We've got passion coming back something or someone new is coming in or there's going to be some kind of a new turning point uh, which is going to lead to fresh new changes, excitement um, and you're ready to leap into whatever this new thing is. So as I said, this could be a person that you've been dealing with. This could be a new person coming in. Either way, the change that's going to happen was necessary because this is just real fresh new energy. You could be dealing with um, a fire sign or another Aries, Leo or Sag doesn't have to be but I'm really really liking where this is going because we've gone from you know something that really needed to come to an end really needed to come to an end and whatever you've been feeling burdened about Aries that's not going to last very long you could have a choice you could have a choice between two things. You could have a choice between two people. You could have a choice between two jobs. You could have a choice. Um, it could be trying to balance your time as well between two things or two people, but a choice needs to be made. And I'm really liking that the King of Pentacles has come up here. So if there's anyone who's worried about career finances, um, King of Pentacles is so good to get in an outcome position. Obviously, a lot of people at the moment are going through um, tough times financially. So if that's been a worry for you, uh, something something new and very positive is coming in, something that's going to sort of spark your excitement. And it's going to bring the, the goods financially. If this is representing a person, you could be dealing with a Gemini or an Earth sign, Taurus, um, Virgo, Capricorn. This could also be someone new coming in, someone completely new that you haven't been dealing with before. So any um, any single Aries looking for someone, um, feeling like you know, feeling like dating life has just been one drama after another in a continuous loop, that's going to change. That's going to change. Someone very mature, sensible, wise, practical uh, is coming in. Could be someone you work with. Could be someone in a superior position at work. Could be someone with just a lot of responsibilities at work. An entrepreneur or someone who has reached um, a very high level uh, in their career. So I really like to see that. Or this could be you. If this is a new sort of creative venture or, you know, if this represents some kind of creative project or a side business um, or something that you're starting, another income stream, um, something that you're trying to sort of get off the ground, 
it's going to be very successful. So I really, really like to see that. Because yeah, I'm getting I'm just getting that dual meaning from this from this reading. So sorry to keep going back and forth between you know relationships and finances, but I actually think both are going to really, really improve. So anyone who's had a concern about both, and I think that will be for a lot of you because the tower here again is you know major life changes. This isn't just a little a little change or a little shift happening. This could be affecting multiple things in your life. Um and both areas are going to improve here with the lovers and the and the king of pentacles. So I really, really like to see that um, in your outcome position. In terms of advice here, we've got the seven of air and in the good tarot, this is all about getting back to what makes you happy. You know, forget about people pleasing. If you feel like you're pulled in a million directions um, because you're constantly trying to keep everyone happy it's time to stop doing that Aries that's what this is really telling me it's time to go within think about what really makes you happy and just focus on that because that's where that's what's going to bring you success whatever it is that makes you happy independent of other people is is going to bring you success and whatever you're thinking of going towards if it's maybe like the path less traveled or not a very conventional kind of idea um, there's still a lot of promise there so if there's something that uh, you're like I said if you're, there's something that you're trying to get off the ground like a creative project or a side project or a side business or something like that I think it's a good time to do that and if you've been feeling very defensive in a situation or if a lot of arguments have been happening with a particular person just be careful that it's not because you're trying to people please because I don't think you need to do that. You've got so much good coming in that it's time to just focus on what you want for the rest of September. Hope you enjoyed that reading, guys. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed that. It really helps me grow and ultimately make more readings for you guys, which I love doing. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.